the easy way to kind of bruise your... Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Where'd it go? Is this your spice arsenal? <laughs> yes, this is my spice drawers. Hey. Hey. We're making carnitas today. Carnitas. Instant pot. Normally I do it on the stovetop, but I want to find a way to do it faster using the pressure cooker. So I'm just crushing my garlic right now. Easy way to bruise your garlic and to remove the skin at the same time, although it doesn't seem to be cooperating right now. Still easier than trying to peel garlic without smashing it first. Oh my goodness, This today is one of those days where I feel like I shouldn't be in the kitchen holding a knife. Uh, you say that a lot, actually. <laughs> But it's true, when you're all thumbs, you don't want to be holding a knife in the kitchen. Four cloves of garlic. I have about two pounds of uh, pork shoulder cut into one and a half to two inch pieces. I've got four cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of salt, and a bay leaf. And that's all you need. Oh, and some water. I'm going to put the pork into the pot. Okay, then in goes the garlic, a bay leaf, and the salt. And I'm just gonna Wipe my hands. I'm gonna pour some water in there. Okay, I'm only going to put up to about two cups of water because you don't need much water um, when you're using the pressure cooker because the water doesn't evaporate. Locking the lid into place, making sure the sealing knob is on sealing and not venting. And I haven't even programmed it into my phone yet. So I'm just going to hit the meat or stew and I'm going to cook it for 45 minutes. And I will have the script ready in the description below in this video. Um, yeah. That's it. 45 minutes and then I'll let you know what to do after that. It sounds like it's dying. <laughs> Any minute now. I'll push that button down. Just push it. There. <laughs> Sometimes it just gets stuck. I had let the pork rest for 10 minutes, although not intentionally, it's just it took 10 minutes for me to get to the pot after it was done. I hear whistling, but it's actually the other pot going, so it's not the pork. So it doesn't look like much, but what I'm going to do now is um, brown it on a frying pan. Or what you could do is lay it out on a sh uh, baking sheet and put it under the broiler to brown it. But I'm going to use the frying pan today. Okay, I'm pouring oil into a hot pan. There's quite a bit of oil in here because I do want to fry it. I don't want to have it stick all over. Oh my goodness. Shifting your way back there. 
Uh, I see that uh, <laughs> you like splattering oil and making messes. <gasps> well, good thing I have splatter screen. Splatter screen on. And then the next step? Turning on the fan. And you know what? I know how much you love to see grease burning off our elements. Hey, so hey, 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 there's no. a ton of grease for you to burn off. Hey. And I guess I should put on an apron. Just in a couple of minutes, you can see that it's nice and crispy brown. So I'm just going to fry the other side. I'm going to cut up some lettuce and tomato. We're going to serve it up with some salsa and also I'm going to cut up some avocado and I've made some rice. I normally would serve it with beans but I don't have any left. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. And it's just totally browned now and I'm going to remove it and put it on a plate. Flavors. I think the kids might have it in a burrito. So we would just use the carnita with some rice, wrap it up with the lettuce and salsa and avocado and tomatoes, and that is dinner. If you like this video, please hit like below and subscribe so you'll be notified of new videos. Also, we have an, if you don't have a pressure cooker, it is fairly easy to make it on the stove. So um, we have the easy carnitas recipe in the videos and I think my husband will put a link up here somewhere and you can just click that and check out how to make carnitas on the stove top. Thanks for watching. weirdo.